Hey guys, this is Mandy with Retrofix Games. Well, today I'm going to be opening some March of the Machine collector boosters. Hopefully we can get some serialized cards. Definitely an interesting set. You can get multiverse legend cards. You can get obviously really good cards out of the March of the Machine set proper. Definitely a lot of interesting stuff going on in the set. All right, let's get started. First pack. We will quickly go through the commons and uncommons. All right, I've got Tribute to the World Tree, Loaded Processor, Essence of Orthodoxy, Vera, See, that's a foil. There we go. Shauna. Oh, got our first mythic here. We've got St. Traft and Rem Carolus. Cezanne. And our token. So a mythic in the first pack. That's good. Hopefully we see some big, big cards like the... Like maybe an Elish or something like that. Not Knight Errant. Zephyr. Conclave. Huh. Karuga. All right. Nothing super exciting in that, but still decent. Here's Warcrafting. I think Nahiri's dead. I'm okay with that. She's probably one of my least favorite planeswalkers. There's there's even a lot of bad guys that I like better than her. Ooh, got our first Halo foil in the Rona. Got Ozolith and Emery. Ooh, that's cool. I don't think I've seen very much of this specific art for Emery. I think it looks really good. Looks like she's like beating up somebody in the water. Just neat. Alright, oh, there we go. Got a Shale Dread. The Mythic Shale Dread from March of the Machine set. Got Shanna. Fairy's Talent. Got Squee. I like Squee. I'm a big fan of the goblins. My favorite art for a card is probably the goblin diplomats where they're like making faces and somebody's pointing at their butt. I think it's really entertaining. The goblins are just so silly in magic. City on Fire. I do like this card, but I'm guessing that's probably just because it's red. I am always partial to red cards. Chrome Host Seed Shark. I mean, sharks are already pretty OP, and then you just add Phyrexian coolness to them, and they're even cooler. All right, last pack in the first pile here. Hmm, no Invasion card. That's weird. Mountain, got an Archangel Elspeth in foil, which is nice. Drana and Linvala, Ladalian, got Rona, Timuret, Fairy Mastermind, and we've got Ginger Taxis, our first mythic in that multiverse legends. Aftermath will be coming out in May. Aftermath is definitely going to be interesting to see. I mean, I know we've seen some of the cards from some of the spoiler videos, but definitely more interested in seeing how it all works out. Ooh, there we go. Lathiel and Halo. Ooh, that's a nice looking card. Ginger Taxis. Got another mythic here. Rayav. Another Halo foil. Man, this pack, this box has been giving me quite a few Halo foils. We're up to three Halo foils, I think. Got Daxos in Halo foil, which is just beautiful. Oh, got another mythic here from the Commander set for March of the Machine, Shalai and Halar. 
I got Baral. I think that's a pretty solid reprint out of for the Multiverse Legends set. Home host, Guardian Skill Lord, Cool Zada, Deep Root, Luris. I really love the art for this Luris specifically. I think Luris is really good looking. Man, almost done with the first box. Hopefully, I'm hoping we get a serialized, but you know, maybe, maybe the serialized is uh, sitting in the other box. We will find that out pretty soon here. Dina, Rayav, ooh, there's a, a Mythic Croxa and Kunaros in the showcase, the Constellation style. Then we've got Emery and Etched. I think I like the, the art in the Etched better than that other one, although the other one is cool. It's definitely a different perspective on, on seeing, seeing that character. Fireman Commando. Yeah, we've got the store championship for March of the Machine should be coming up soon. For us, that's going to be a draft. I just love doing limited. I just think it's a totally different uh, skill set to, to do really well in limited. A little bit of luck, but definitely some skill there. So we've got a Halo Foil Rayav. Nahiri's Warcrafting and Geruda Doom of Deaths. <laughs> All right, last pack of first box. Hopefully, hopefully, get something super cool. Ooh, got an invasion of Tarkir, which is one of the mythic invasions. Rampaging Raptor to Fairy's Talent. And got Heliod, Radiant Dawn, and Karuga. So first box, uh, let me see one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mythics. Seems pretty decent. We'll go ahead and move on to the next box. And hopefully the serialized card is sitting in that box. As always, if there's any cards that you're seeing in here that you're interested in, you can always check out our website, retrofixgames.com. We ship every day and we also host events locally. If you ever happen to be in Missoula, Let's see here. Guardian of Giraper. Oh, that I just like that character. That's just a cool character design. And Obosh, the Prey Piercer. Uh, I barely can understand what this is supposed to be, but it looks cool. I mostly just see a big mouth. Oof. City on Fire, Inga, oh man, look at that cool like magic representation in the art there. Got Renata in the Halo Foil. So this would be one of those where I'm not entirely sure that the Halo Foil really lends itself to the art, but you know, gotta be able to pull the Halo Foil for most of the cards, I think so. And then there's Itali. I really like this version of the Itali or just that style in general in the card art, where they kind of look like seals. Scroll seals. Fairy Mastermind. Rampagey Raptor. I'm always going to be a fan of the, the dinosaurs. Yeah, Agar, Rampage and Raptor. And then we got Captain Lannery Storm in that sealed... Scroll seal type. I don't remember what they call it. I know there's a specific name. I just can't remember it right now. I know it's like the showcase version, but they usually have like a specific name for those kinds of treatments that they do. Ayara. I think I, I've always thought Ayara was just a pretty, pretty designed character. Pylon, Uncivil Unrest, Timoret. Valduck. Oh, there we go. There's an Omnath. And we've got a Croxa. Another Croxa here in our second box. Cool. Let's see what we get. Fireman Commando. Knight Errant. 
Liliana's talent. I think this art's really cool. I definitely would be interested in a, like a, a print of this art specifically. Just beautiful. Got Rowan's talent and Rick Smith's slumbering isle. Rick Smithis is an interesting name. It always makes me think of like some sort of like math equation or something. Archpriest, got Galta, Emergent, Dina. Oh, there we go. There's another Halo foil with Raph. We've got a foil Chrome Host and Kahiro in the etched. Definitely a lot of favor being shown towards Commander with this set. You've got all the really great Commander reprint cards in the Multiverse Legends. Um, you've definitely got a lot of command. I mean, there's five commander decks for the set. And then they added plane chase, which is a whole different mechanic, which they haven't done in a while, which was pretty cool. Ozolith and Brewclad. All right, we're on the last pile. Not sure the odds are in our favor that we're going to end up pulling a serialize, but we'll certainly try. Hopefully, hopefully the magic gods smile down on us and give us something really spicy in this last pile of packs. Luttry. Luttry's so cute. Look at that. Look at that otter. One of our employees, Jesse, is like trying to build like a commander deck that's all cute stuff. <laughs> and there's a lot of really cute animals and art that they've done over the years, especially more recently. So there's otters and dogs and cats and horses and lots and lots of different adorable things that they've done. Ooh, Pelucranos. Nice. And a Karuga. Ooh, coming down to the wire. A tribute to the World Tree again. Transcendent Message. Pain Distributor. Definitely not seen. I mean, I've got one mythic so far out of this box. Oof. That's kind of a bummer. Got Yodora in Halo. It's very cool. There we go. All right. Let's hold out hope that there's another card in here for us. Progenitor. Path of the Animist. Ooh, Vorinclex and Elish. Wow. Double mythics here. Got Vorinclex. Wait, I got that in the wrong pile. Vorinclex out of the new set. And then we've got Elish Grand Cenobite for Multiverse Legends. All right, guys. The very last pack. Can we get something crazy and serialized? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, sort of once in future. Starting off with a mythic. That's great. Doomscar Warrior. Icor Elixir. Got Zada. Oh, wow. A Halo version of Daxos, which is just really beautiful. And look at that. Got Chandra, Hope's Beacon, and Extended Art. And that's another mythic for us. She seems to be really hard to pull. I just haven't seen a whole lot of her coming out of stuff that we've opened. Which is a bummer because she's an awesome Chandra and she's a Storm Chandra. So we like that. And then we've got Gigantha for our last Multiverse Legends little slot here. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you guys are finding your serialized cards if you're still opening collector boxes and packs. Thank you for watching and have a good one, guys.